Hi, I'm Theodore Earnshaw, and this is your GLTV News Brief for Thursday, May 2nd. After an ongoing investigation beginning on April 21st, Joey Henney of Jonestown, Pennsylvania has reportedly still not found his emotional support alligator, Wally Gator. The alligator, who became briefly famous for being denied entry from a Phillies game last year, was being kept in Brunswick, Georgia, until he was reported missing in the early morning on April 21st. Henny stated that Wally had been taken and placed in another lawn, at which point the Georgia Department of Natural Resources caught Wally and released him into the wild. According to the trapper that released Wally, there is very little chance of finding him now, but Mr. Henny is continuing his search in hopes of finding his friend. On Wednesday morning at 7 a.m., an earthquake aftershock of magnitude 2.6 was felt across the Northeast, including towns and cities such as Milburn, Jersey City, Dover, and even in May Mayland, Massachusetts. This aftershock, following another of similar magnitude on Saturday morning, is one of nearly 160 aftershocks that have occurred since the 4.8 magnitude earthquake in April. While researchers believe that these earthquakes are happening along the Ramapo fault line in North Jersey, they are still trying to figure out their exact source. This Tuesday at 3 a.m., a Berkeley Heights resident reported a potential break-in at their home on Cambridge Drive. Although the police were quick to respond and arrive, the two suspects gave up trying to break in and instead fled the scene in a car they had stolen earlier. A high-speed chase ensued down Mountain Ave, Glenside Ave, and eventually onto Route 78 where the suspects were caught. Tuesday night, the town council honored the accomplishments of a few of Governor Livingston's notable groups. This included the junior varsity and varsity hockey teams for their wins throughout the 2023 to 2024 season, as well as over the last four seasons and the Highlander Marching Band for their competitive wins in the 2023 season and their first involvement in the New York City St. Patrick's Day Parade in March. On Thursday night last week, the Governor Livingston boys lacrosse team honored their senior team members before their game against Blair Academy with a special ceremony. While the team tried very hard to bring home the win, in the end they lost to Blair Academy 12 to nine. Signups have officially opened for GL's annual cabaret night hosted by the Tri-M Music Honor Society. The event, which is held as a fundraiser for a music-related charity each year, is being held on May 21st, 2024 at 7 p.m. Both groups and individuals can sign up to perform. However, this year, individual acts are being limited to seniors only. Sign-ups close Friday, so if you're interested, act fast, or come watch Cabaret to support the fundraiser. I'm Theodore Earnshaw, and this has been your GLTV News Brief. Have a great weekend, GL.